Hello and welcome back. Deadlord in ETAPS. Here, deadlords are classified in ETAPS into dead and super dead. What do you mean by this? Let me go to ETAPS. Here, if you take a look at this place, that is the type of the lord, here you have the dead type and the super dead type. Okay, so you have these two classifications here. And in addition to this, you have what we call it self weight multiplier. Here you have one and you may have a zero okay you have these two options now let me discuss these two things in detail so here what is the date the dead type is used when the dead load is associated with the self weight of the structural components here i mean structural components means those components that are used to support loads and to transfer loads so such as columns beams slabs staircase and also structural walls so these are the structural components, their self weight are defined in E tabs as dead. That's one. The super dead are those loads that will be applied after the main structural members are constructed and casted and finished. Okay. So after all this is completed, it means after the column beams, walls, staircase, slabs are all casted, those other dead loads that will be applied after these structural members are completed are called super dead for example finishings that will be applied to the maybe to the uh, floor system maybe to the staircase to the structural components the partitions that will be used to partition the floor system and maybe any other permanent or quasi permanent non-structural components okay make sure that is non-structural component so these permanent or quasi permanent loads will also be classified under the super dead what do we mean by permanent and quasi permanent permanent are those that will be there with the structural members for the rest of its design life quasi permanent are those loads that will stay with the structure at least for the 50 percent of the design life of that structure now if i come to the self weight multiplier the self weight multiplier that will be used for the dead that is for the column the beam the staircase and so on the self weight multiplier will be one make sure that this is one if you make this one zero in it ups then it means that the self weight of this all components will be neglected whereas the self weight multiplier for the other for this uh, super dead components it will be zero and you need to apply them on the software so the software will consider whatever you apply on there now let me take you again to the software here it is for example here finishing i have this it is super dead and the self weight multiplier is zero done and maybe partitions partitions here super dead the self weight multiplier is zero but dead that is the dead part then the self weight multiplier will be one done so this is how you will define the dead load in etaps thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up see you next time